Academy Award winning actress Marion Cotillard was born on September 30, 1975 in Paris. Cotillard is the daughter of Jean-Claude Cotillard, an actor, playwright and director, and Nassima Thilod, an actress and drama teacher. Raised in Orleans, France, she made her acting debut as a child with a role in one of her father's plays. She studied drama in the Conservatoire the Art Dramatique in Orleans. After small appearances and performances in theatre, Cotillard had occasional and minor roles in television series such as Highlander in 1992, but her career as a film actress began in the mid-1990s. While still a teenager, Cotillard made her cinema debut in the film Le Historie du Garcon, Cubulate, Cuon et Imbressi in 1994 and had small but noticeable roles in such films as Orna Displacions My Sex Life or How I Got Into an Argument in 1996, Colin Sorio's comedy La Bille Duarte in 1996 and had her first leading role in the TV film Clo in 1996. Her first prominent screen role was as Lily Bottinu in Gerard Pires' Taxi in 1998, a role which she reprised in two sequels, Taxi 2 in 2000 and Taxi 3 in 2003. This role earned her first Caesar Award nomination for Most Promising Actress in 1999. In 2001, she starred in Pretty Things in 2001 as the twin sisters Mary and Lucy and was nominated for her second Caesar Award for Most Promising Actress for her performance. Cotillard's breakthrough in France came in 2003 when she starred in the film Love Me If You Dare in 2003 as Sophie Kowalski, the daughter of Polish immigrants opposite her friend at the time, Guillaume Canet, with whom she would have a relationship four years later. Her first movie in Hollywood was Tim Burton's Big Fish in 2003. Years later, she starred in Ridley Scott's A Good Year in 2006 alongside Russell Crowe. In 2005, Cotillard won the Caesar Award, that is France's equivalent to the Oscar, for Best Supporting Actress for her role as Tina Lombardi in Jean Pierre Jonet's A Very Long Engagement in 2004. In 2007, Cotillard received international recognition for her iconic portrayal of Edith Piaf in La Vie and Rose in 2007. Director Olivier Dahan cast Cotillard to play the legendary French singer because to him, her eyes were like those of Piaf. The role won Cotillard the Academy Award for the Best Actress along with a Caesar, a BAFTA Award and a Golden Globe that made her only the second actress to win an acting Oscar performing in a language other than English next to Sophia Loren, two women in 1960. Only two male performers, Roberto Benigni for Life is Beautiful in 1997 and Robert De Niro for The Godfather Part 2 in 1974 have won an Oscar for solely non-English parts. Trevor Nunn called her portrayal of Piaf as one of the greatest performances on film ever. At the Berlin International Film Festival, where the film premiered, Cotillard was given a 15-minute standing ovation. Cotillard has worked much more frequently in English-language movies following her Academy Award recognition. In 2009, she acted opposite Johnny Depp in Michael Mann's Public Enemies and later that year had a role in Rob Marshall's Musical 9 in 2009 and received a Golden Globe nomination for her performance as Luza Contini. Time magazine ranked her as the fifth best performance by a female in 2009. The following year, she took on the main antagonist role in Christopher Nolan's Inception in 2010 and in 2011, she had memorable parts in Midnight in Paris in 2011 and Contagion in 2011 and reteamed with Christopher Nolan in The Dark Knight Rises in 2012. In 2011 and 2012 respectively, she appeared on the top of the list of the highest paid actors in France that was released by Lee Figaro. She was also the highest paid foreign actress in Hollywood. It was the first time in nine years that a female topped the list. In 2012, Cotillard received widespread critical acclaim for her role as Orca trainer Stefanin in Dressed and Bone in 2012. The film received a 10-minute standing ovation at the end of its screening at the 65th Keynes Film Festival.
Kate Blanchett wrote an article for Variety praising Cotler's performance in Trust and Bone. Her first leading role in a Hollywood movie came in 2013 as Eva Saibalski, a Polish immigrant who wants to experience the American dream in James Gray's The Immigrant in 2013. She also played a role in the movie Anchorman 2 alongside various big stars. In 2014, Marion would be starring in the Two Days One Night along with voicing in two other animation projects. She's also playing Lady Macbeth in the to be released movie Macbeth. We hope to see a lot more of Marion in the near future. <laughs>